In this video, you will learn about what post-processing does to a case. You'll also learn when it is activated automatically and when you may benefit from invoking it manually. So what does post-processing do? What you see on the scanned page is actually a preview. It is designed to give you real-time feedback to guide you through the scanning process. However, as time for processing during scanning is limited, the level of detail is also limited. As more time is available, the system may employ more advanced algorithms, which again will bring out more detail. In this way, the lab will always have the maximum level of detail to work on. Let's illustrate how you may actively use this post-processing when setting the margin line. First, we need a scan. Select a patient, create a case, and select a lab in the usual manner. Then fill in the order form. Select the tooth on which the restoration will be made, the indication, material, and other details. Set the delivery date. When your order is ready, proceed to the scan page and make scans using the recommended scan strategies. For the purposes of this video, only the upper scan will be made, where the restoration is. In order to do that, select the upper arch in the workflow bar. Start scanning. When the scan is ready, mark the tooth chosen in the order form and move to the Analyze page. Once on the Analyze page, you can examine the scan and set the margin line, serving as guidance for the technician. Turning off the colors will, in many cases, make the 3D detail stand out more clearly. The scan shown on the screen is the preview from the scan page. By invoking the post-processing, you will bring out even more detail. In general, 3Shape recommends to post-process before setting the margin line, as the margin will stand out more clearly and consequently will be easier to set. Let's illustrate what to do and the difference it makes. Now post-process the scan. Click the post-process button. Please note that when doing post-processing in the Analyze step, it will take some time and you'll have to wait for the process to finish before continuing your work on the case. The better the PC performance, the shorter the post-processing time. Also, smaller scans will require less post-processing time than large cases. If you implement any modifications of the scan later on during work, for example, adding a HD photo, you'll need to do post-processing once again. Now the case is post-processed. Note how the level of detail has now increased. The dental lab will always see the post-process scan because it is automatically processed during the sending procedure. Now that the scan has been post-processed, you can place the margin. In order to create a margin line automatically, press the Margin Line button. If necessary, the margin line can be adjusted manually. If you wish, you may also see the difference on your own system. Here's what to do. On the Analyze page, take a snapshot of the preview. To do that, select the Tools menu, and choose the Snapshot button. Then press the Post Process button. Finally, take another snapshot. Select the Tools menu and choose the Snapshot button. Now go to the Patient window. To do that, click on the Patients button in the workflow bar. Then click on the Camera icon on the right side and select the snapshots from the list. Switch between the screenshots to see the effect of the post-processing. Now you know about post-processing. We hope this was helpful, and thank you for watching.